Hey guys, this is Eric G, and when I last left off, we did some item hunting, and we got the fire fruits, and the livestock, and I think that was a doll or a geek. But, uh, after going back to Mercator and going through the mountain path, we ran into Zola, or, or Zack, and he fought us, and he gave us the Zola's eye. And... We used it on a statue to warp here back at the lake shrine. Ooh, there are some new enemies here. It also should be noted that I decided to not use cheat codes in order to max out my money so we can buy up to the maximum health bars in this game. So, just to be different from Doc Sumo's LP, just to show you how the, you're supposed to play the game fairly. Because otherwise, the final boss fight is going to be very, very easy in comparison to what it would be. I mean, it's still easy, but it's going to be not as easy. And I feel stupid for not multiple save states. So, there we go. Alright, we kind of fight our way through here. I forget exactly what we have to do here. There is one chest we need to get at all costs. It's that one that eluded us a long time ago. But we can actually do it now that we've got. that we've got timing on our side. Oh dear. Last time we couldn't get it is because the boulder was about to crush us, but now that it's there, we have an access to it. I might actually be going in the wrong direction to where it is. Oh, we're here, I think. See, that's where we were. Since the boulder's there, we can get the lifestyle. I like listening to music. And it looks like there's a secret in there. Really, game? Gonna use an e-geek. That leads to nowhere. Whoa. Die already. Oh no. These guys too. Alright. 
Which door should I go in? Does it matter? Look suspicious. It's a duke. This music's kind of cool. He's gonna start playing with me? Why is he running away? Uh oh. The treasures! Oh no! So that's why he kidnapped her. Of course, her to sing. Like, oh my god! Frog. She, she really is a dumbass. Really, a frog. I can't imagine what he actually said in the original game. If it was the same thing, I'd be, still be. Well, whatever. Uh. Adavita got an Anna? <laughs> Transporter. How can we hear you from all the way over there? Uh, I'm no prince. I'm a thief. I hope you didn't hope for it to happen before you got captured. Which is what you implied the last time. Bad germs. Ugh. Hey, you are kind of being a little protective Friday. Which one? Yeah. That has to be a pun of some kind. Okay. I mean, I imagine it was scary. The Doogie is kind of a dick. But still, she's kind of a d ditz. He's telling us to visit Maple. We're from Maple. I don't think he knows that, though. Yeah, she got a little stir crazy. Uh. Elaborate teleportation sequence. I might actually go for a length in this episode just because the Kazalt mines are a lot large. Yeah, this is what this place is called. It's a Kazalt. 300? Well. Yeah, I guess uh, he kind of is a dictator. But, uh, you mean you didn't notice Mercator walking through here? Maybe we got shunted over here because he was also on the teleporter. Yeah, sure, why not? I got plenty of money. around here. Eternal youth and reward for building his underground palace. 
Do you like being alone? Hmm. See what's down here. Three monsters in the labyrinth called Gehenna's Gatekeepers. Hmm. So, yay, boss fights. Yeah, we want to go down there eventually, but. That leads to the dungeon. King also eternal life, but now I just idle my time away. <laughs> Any comic books? Like they had comic books? Yeah, that's pretty large. Second thought, I'm gonna probably split that up. Hmm. Where's the shop? Alright, it's down there. I only have enough to get one of these things. Yeah, look how expensive that is. See, like, it, it's considered unlimited, because you can keep buying them until you max your health out. And like I said, if you, leave, if you left any of the life stocks and treasure chests behind, and then decided to get them later, you could get up to a total of 168 uh, health. But I'm not gonna do that. That's cheating. Especially since you have to grind to get all the money necessary to buy all of them. By leaving all of those other ones behind. And it makes the game harder. At first, anyway. Except for the two that you actually need to get, because if you don't get them, then you won't get them ever. He's a substitute for the priest. Okay. Alright. Now that we've done that, we can actually... Oh, wait a minute. I didn't talk to that other guy. Oh, there's nothing in this place. Why put a building there if you're not gonna put a guy inside to talk to? I don't think I have to worry about the status of the ailments. I've got restorations for that. music from the very beginning of the game. Purple slimes. Enemies here are very basic. Go in the door in the south, because it apparently locked the door on the north. Or the east. Just kill all the enemies, pretty much. It's pretty straightforward until it gets a complex. Ow. Hold on. I might have forgot something. Boy, getting hit by the spike ball. Mm -hmm. 
Statue of Gaia. does feel like a final area type of place. There's no way there's another dungeon. Uh, no. Can't be. That's crazy talk. Uh-oh. Time to bust out the lantern. Oh, wait a minute. I think we actually have to equip it. No. It's in here somewhere. It's a geodesic maze.
and we found the key. I've tried the room with spikes everywhere. Hmm, that's kind of far away. But we kind of have to, because we can't go there yet. Because we need special boots to get on that. I think they're the cleated shoes or something like that. I could probably just go in between here. Haha. -ha. Skeleton. So what was the point of killing those mummies? Oh well. Probably gonna quit in about ten more minutes and then do the next episode afterwards. Die, die, die. I really need a new weapon. These enemies are getting tough. use it every time you wanna. That's kind of annoying. Eek, eek, the bag is full. And you know what that means, folks. We can't get that chest just yet. Or that other one. They're on the other side. taking damage. Or not. I was lucky there. We're gonna open the door here. Hmm, the light stock. Doesn't seem we can do anything right now, though. Well, that's one way to get a life stock. The other one has an e geek in it. I don't think I really need that one.
know another life stop. Oh, well, the other one I took was kind of pointless then. I probably went ahead of the guide. Oh, there's apparently a door here, but it's locked. How do I open it? slightly ajar. This is what I'm, this is what they meant. The guide is it's very specific. Staircase. Hmm. So we need that. If we screw up, though, we have to come back and get it. Gotta make this throw count. Ah. See, so it activated a switch. Oh, I missed that jump. Going through the door on the far right, so this is as far as we can go. The timing's kind of tricky. Oh. That was probably a bad idea. something. Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have jumped through it. Jump in this hole. And we get the coveted iron boots, which allow us to walk on iron. Um, 
Let's see. I think we are allowed to walk on spikes. There's one more set of boots, the snow boots. So I lose the ability to... heal, but... I'll put on the... Uh, whoops. I'll put on those boots when needed, but for now, I'm fine. Oh, and I've actually gotten to 30 minutes, so I think now's a good place to stop. See you guys later, next time on Landstalker. Bye-bye.